The Kenya National Farmers Federation, KENAF, recently signed a memorandum of understanding with Agribora, an agri-fintech company to leverage on technology and de-risk smallholder agriculture, improve farm productivity and facilitate effective trading for their 1.6 million members. Speaking to KTN, Agribora CEO Kizito Othiambo said, through KENAF's membership, they will be able to expand their reach and transform the sector through the use of data data-driven agriculture. Smallholder farming in Kenya is key to the country's food security and economy, and as mobile technology use increases and improves in rural areas, there is a huge potential to digitize agricultural services as an end-to-end -end ecosystem. We are living in an ecosystem in Kenya where agriculture is very fragmented. Very many middlemen and women are between the farmer and the ultimate service providers, be it at the input side or the final market. And so what we are trying to do with technology is to disrupt that fragmentation by enabling grassroots businesses become a one-stop shop so that a smallholder farmer only has one trust relationship with a service provider at the grassroots where they can purchase everything from soil testing to plowing to fertilizer and seed and ultimately sell to the same grassroots business their output market. And so using technology, we're able to bring all the different stakeholders together from the government level to the private sector and development world to enable this ecosystem become more cohesive and more structured. Obviously, with this kind of membership and uh, being the farmer's voice in the country, there are a lot of um, entities that will be interested in working with Kenna. So we've had a, a lot of um, ICT companies coming to Kenna promising to do one thing or the other. Um, and uh, quite a number of them have turned out to be, you know, um, uh, just talk. Uh, but just looking closely at what uh, Angribora is offering, uh, their, 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 their value proposition um, merges, um, coheres rather uh, nicely with our pillar number six, because we do believe that the, 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 the software that they are offering, including in geomapping, in uh, credit access, is what we really need so that we can um, um, support uh, um, our, our commitment to, to, to our members that they, they enhance their incomes and in that way they improve their livelihood. So we do think of course that um, um, as we start working with Agribora um, in these um, coming months and years, this shall be proven and of course um, uh, we know it's a risk um, because we don't know of course whether it's going to work but we decided to take the risk because they presented a very um, competitive case in the kind of uh, um, uh, you know technology that they are going to offer our members. Data-driven agriculture is a system of using big data to supplement on-farm precision agriculture to make better decisions. While it is difficult to reach farmers at an individual level, the best way to help farmers use data is through aggregation through cooperatives or groups using simple technology such as USSD, short messaging services through simple feature phones or what we commonly call Mlika Mwizi. And we came up with a very simple technology, uh, the USSD code, uh, where we are offering um, four items uh, on COVID-19 information, on market facilitation, weather information, and technical advisory services. And we, we were shocked at how much uh, the uptake was, uh, because we started, I think, in July of 2020. And by September, we had 300,000 uh, 300, uh, farmers signed up to, to this platform. But I think as of now, we have close to 700,000 and we've been offering uh, different, um, uh, we've, we've been sharing uh, information uh, and knowledge through this uh, uh, service. Of course, we, we, we looked at improving it into an app, but I think this is uh, one of the things we are going to do with Angribora. And from this, um, the growth, the phenomenal growth that we had in uh, about 12 to 18 months showed us that um, a lot of farmers in this country are, are early innovators. And I believe that if you give farmers what, to, what they really need so that they, have, um, they enhance their incomes, even if they do not know how to access that service or maybe they do not know how to use it, they are, they are, they are going to learn. We've also realized that farmers learn best from other farmers because what we saw when we were um, you know, uh, promoting this USSD code to farmers is that when farmers saw the other, uh, their friends, their neighbors doing it, they took, care, they, they, they took it up because they saw that, oh, this, uh, my neighbor is benefiting from the information that is coming from Kenneth. So we believe it's going to be the same case um, with, with what we do with Agribora. So if you look at 1.6 million members, even if we get to 
half a million, maybe 700,000 that we have in, on uh, the USSD code. I think this would be um, a major accomplishment in this uh, project. Through the transactions that go through the AgriHub, we are also able to start monitoring the crop development. Gone are the days where we will now just speculate about how much yield we will receive from our fields by leveraging on ground data such as date of planting, the varieties that have been planted, and then satellite data. Because every five days we are able to get an image of the field and we're able to analyze this through our AgriMap service to enable stakeholders such as agri-processors and governments have in-season analytics and insights about what has been planted where, when and how, how much has it been raining, how much do we expect in terms of yield. And so this is not only important for enterprise clients who are looking at how do I do supply chain logistics, how can I order raw materials, but for the government to look at are we food secure, are we going to have enough uh, that is coming out of our fields. We have seen recently the government providing subsidized fertilizers. The next question that we should be asking ourselves is, have farmers used this fertilizer? How much maize is growing in the country right now? How much has it rained? And what are we expecting in terms of harvest come the harvest season in August? And finally, when these transactions happen through the platform and we have all this data, including satellite data, we are now helping smallholder farmers become bankable. They now have digital transaction histories that they can use to provide to lenders such as banks who can then lend them agri-input credit to spend at the hub to access these services. There are however various challenges with getting farmers on board and to adapt new technologies due to the fear of the unknown. Yeah, when you start looking at how you're transacting money through e-wallets and these uh, challenges that arise there, that has been one of the pain points. But also looking at how you can digitize grassroots businesses that do not have the devices that are able to actually use such kind of technologies. Most of them do have smartphones but have not really interacted with their smartphones well to be able to run their business over them. So you realize that they still continue tracking their processes on paper and then in the evening when they are settled down that is when they move it onto the phone. And so you want to disrupt that to make it a process that actually is done on a day-to-day -day basis. And to do that we have been working towards supporting them with training, capacity building, but also incentivizing them to look at how can we help them access these gadgets, access digital literacy um, trainings to upskill themselves. But also one of the challenges that we have faced is of course the proliferation of very many different digital technologies out in the market. We are not alone in the market and some products and services are a hoax. So you will find a lot of tech companies coming up with products pull the farmers in, but nothing comes out of this kind of transactions and relationships. So getting the goodwill of the farmers has been a challenge. We have been able to circumvent this by one, partnering with the county governments through a relationship with the World Bank under the Kenya Climate Smart Agriculture Program since 2021. The World Bank identified Agribora as one of the disruptive agricultural technologies in Kenya. Kenya has over 7 million smallholder farmers and apart from earning through the sale of farm produce, this technology opens numerous opportunities through connecting various services in the whole value chain. Data is used for various purposes in agri-food systems. For farmers, it can be used to make decisions of what to produce where to produce and when to produce on the farm. Making such decisions requires the support of localized data from the farm, such as soil, and imported data from outside the farm, such as weather data and market data. Another use of data for farmers is monitoring and assessing how the crop is growing and whether the required resources are available. For KTN Farmers TV, I'm Paul Thiongo.